Germany, kicking it old school, man. Kicking it fucking old school. They can't, you can't beat the classic classics. You just can't like sometimes it's like Australia right now, right? Started as a prison colony, essentially. And what are they doing right now? They got motherfuckers climbing out of uh doc- indoctrination. Not well, they are kind of doc- indoctrination, but this is more what we talking about in concentration camps. Yeah. Quarantine facilities, if you will, crawling out of the motherfuckers. Now, Germany, which shouldn't surprise anybody. <laughs> Germany gone to Germany, ain't they? They really are. Germany, as covered by uh, CBS, certified bullshit news. Uh, Germany announces major restrictions on unvaccinated as COVID cases surge. It's almost like the jabs ain't stopping shit. It ain't stopping the m- 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 cases. People who aren't vaccinated will be excluded from non-essential stores, cultural and recreational venues, and Parliament will consider a general vaccine mandate. German Chancellor Angela Merkel said Thursday as part of an effort to curb coronavirus infections that again topped 70,000 new COVID cases in twenty four in the 24-hour period. And you see, these guys, the, the world leaders, right, in, of these major co- uh, countries, they're so fucking stupid that they won't even accept that they got it wrong. So they always double down, right? You think there will be some sort of self-reflection here, right? Oh shit. We've inst- we, we've done all of this. Whoops. Cases haven't stopped. In fact, they may be higher in some cases than what they were previously, despite not having a jab before you think they would look at it and say, Hmm, Oh shit. Something we messed up along the way. Nope. The measures were necessary. No, they weren't. They were never necessary. In light of concerns that hospitals in Germany will become over. They, they, do y'all not understand that almost nowhere in the world in the West, advanced like world, has, has there been like a case of where the folks were, quote unquote, overwhelmed uh, solely due to COVID. Now there has been, like we saw with Italy and the great John Edis, Johnny and Edis mentioned where you had public policy that went in the wrong direction, which then may have messed up in terms of some, of some capacity issues. For example, with Italy, Italy and them accepting all of like these young people who weren't really sick, but they were admitting them in the hospital because they were so scared of this virus. And then what happened, right? They didn't have enough beds to go around uh, uh, when it really, really hit the fan for folks that were vulnerable. But that's a policy issue. That's not the. That's not because of the COVID. That's that's because you have implemented uh, such a policy that was moronic and it got you in trouble. The measures were necessary, they said. But the situation in our country is serious. Merkel told uh, reporters in Berlin calling the measures an act of national solidarity. Can someone, we need to get one of those uh, funny mustaches right here. Because that sounds awfully familiar. She kind of looks like the motherfucker a little bit too, which is kind of weird. Um, anyway, y- you know who I'm talking about. She said officials also agreed to require masks in schools, impose new limits on private meetings, and aim for 30 million vaccinations by the end of the year. Merkel also said that Parliament would debate the possibility of imposing a general vaccine mandate, which could come into force as early as February. So February, Germany's really going to kick it, kicking it old school, starting uh starting February about 70% of the, so 68.7. It's so almost think about this guys. They're having this surging number of cases, despite having almost 70% of the population fully vaccinated.
finance minister who is expected to be elected chancellor by the center left coalition next week said Tuesday that he backs a general vaccine mandates, but favors letting lawmakers vote according to their personal conscience rather than party lines on the matter. The rise of COVID cases over the past several weeks and the arrival of the Omicron variant have prompted warnings from scientists and doctors that medical services in the country could become overstretched. It's always could be possibly potentially. It might may happen. Unless the drastic action is taken, some hospitals in the South and East of the country have already transferred patients to other parts of Germany because of the shortage of intensive care beds. Germany's disease control agency reported 73,209 newly confirmed cases Thursday. Um, They had 388 new deaths, taking the total since the start of the pandemic to 102,000. Look, guys. Governments just around the world are on a fucking power trip. And more, this was like an experiment. Let's call this what it was. An experiment where these fools wanted to see how much people would comply with their demands. And the existence, even all through all this coercion and extortion, threats of violence that's happening for people that are not vaccinated, there are still people that remain unvaccinated. That is, chaps their ass because you're a living example you're a living example of someone that held the line and didn't cave in to their demands and they hate that shit I can sit up here and tell y'all how this doesn't make sense until I'm blue in the face I've been doing it for the better part of it you know over a year and a half the actions don't match up The data doesn't add up. The data that they provide doesn't make any fucking sense. Yet here we are entering into another flu season. We're right back at it again. And they're trying to get more strenuous and crack down and blame the unvaccinated. Despite you in some cases are having some areas that are worse in terms of their case rate than what they were last year. And there was no vaccine available there. And yet still there's some idiot crackhead walking around thinking that you the problem because you don't support vaccine mandates. These guys are pieces of shit. Let's call it what they are, pieces of absolute dog shit. And I wish you guys would just be honest. Stop being chicken shit. Go ahead and put the little funny-looking fucking mustache uh, and start fucking hailing and, and, and tell us how you really feel. Stop doing all this chicken shit bullshit, acting like you give a fuck about health and concerns of, of, of your fellow people. You don't give a damn about that. This is about power. This is about control. And stop being chicken shit and just admit it. You just watched a clip from my podcast, For Cannon's Sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at youtube.com slash youngripper59. And follow us over at odyssey.com slash at youngripper59. If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit forcanonsake.com.